to another Sales Force and Trailhead tutorial with myself, Jonathan Fox, and today I wanted to go one little step further with the account list that I created. So as you can see, the account list uh, lightning component was just this. Now what you can see is this uh, part at the top here added, which allows you to select how many records you want to display per page. and allows you to go through those pages uh, and it is uh, responsive so as you can see um, don't have to reload the page or anything as soon as you click it changes uh, notice how there is only 15 accounts so changing from 15 to 20 actually doesn't do anything but you saw from changing between 10 and 15 we can see not only does the amount of uh, accounts rendered change um, but also the number of pages so it calculates the number of pages um, as with these tutorials uh, the concept the idea is there however my code and my demonstration isn't particularly um, solving business solutions or uh, helping in terms of that I just want to provide you with the understanding of what you can do uh, and give you that kind of flavor for going and doing it to solve business cases yourself. So let's quickly have a look at some of the code behind it. So we've got the app here, which holds the account list, and we've got the account list here. So not hugely changed. We've added the lightning buttons there for the different pages. We've added the lightning select here with the options, so you can choose how many uh, records to display. And on change, we, we select it, we're using the on change uh, method within our JavaScript and then down here we have um, pretty much the same of how it was originally uh, to render the account list so the only thing that is added is the uh, buttons and the pick list the controller is different so on uh, the do in it so as soon as it um, initializes we're um, getting the records uh, and displaying them and we're passing some of that function um, that worked to the helper we'll have a look at that in a minute um, we've added this the navigate part um, so that's to do with clicking the pages and showing the next set of uh, records and then on change so changing the um, the amount of uh, records that you want to find and as you can see on change, uh, on select change and navigate and uh, doing it all use the get accounts. So as you can see, we've got three different actions, but we're, instead of um, doing the same functionality within each of them and replicating it, we're passing it off to one, um, one method here that actually works for them all just in different situations. So that's the best practice. You do your different actions within your controller and then common functionality, uh, pass it off to your helper. And as we can see, it is setting the amount of pages um, and the total amount of um, results and the number of pages that the results will be within. And what we're actually doing is fetching the accounts from our um, Apex controller. Um, so our Apex class here, uh, of course, it's Aura enabled. Uh, meaning that we can utilize it within lightning aura um, and here we're getting the page size so the amount of records to display we're setting that as an integer and the offset now the offset is because um, you need to get the next chunk of accounts rather than getting the same ones that you've already got and then the same ones again plus the next uh, the next amount so we're using offset um, so for example you've got a list of 10 um, accounts and you want to get the next 10 you'd offset it by 10 so that you can get the next slot um, and then we've got the wrapper here um, as you can see we're creating this this object here so it's pretty straightforward it actually isn't as confusing as you may think um, yes it doesn't solve many business problems I get because we have a, an account list um, a standard but you can see now how you can render a bunch of data allow the user to change how much data they see and then something responsive so they can click through a bit of lazy loading uh, and go through the uh, records like such. 
So just to quickly reiterate, you've got your app containing your component, you've got your component with your buttons and your pick list and then iterating over the results. You've got your controller which is going away and passing different pieces of information, so different variables basically whether that's an on-click or a navigate um, or changing the amount of records to display or it's just on the initialization of the page um, to the helper which passes those details those um, variables into our apex class which goes away and suckles the account and returns a list of accounts based on what you've asked for i hope that was useful i hope that was helpful thank you as always for listening and until next time mm -hmm.